Oh, hello. I bet you're expecting another installment on St. Andrew TV today. Well, let's get right into it. Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, and NBs, and thank you for tuning back into St. Andrew TV, a cure for your Monday blues. I am your host, Andrew, and today we are doing a little more fashion from the Victorian era. As you can see, I am dressed dapper once again, and I'm wearing my ascot tie, yet the knot is a different variation. If you would like a little more history of the ascot tie and why it was so prominent in the Victorian era, I suggest you go back to how to tie a traditional ascot tie. Today, we are doing a different knot. This, what I'm wearing, is called the barrel knot, and it is very simple. And after this very tasteful intro, I'm gonna show you how to do it. No one on the corner has to work like us. Hit me on my barn a prepaid wireless. We pack and deliver like UPS trucks. Already gonna hell just pumping that gas. All I wanna do is and uh ching and I take your money. All I wanna do is and uh ching and I take your money. So as I derobe a bit to get this tie untied, I'm going to tell you everything you need. You're going to need an ascot tie and a tie tack to keep your knot nice and secure. That's all there is to it. So I'm going to unhook my tie tack and close it, throw it over yonder, and we're just going to untie our tie and pop our collar. So like I said in the intro, the only two things you are going to need are your ascot tie and a tie tack. So the start of how to tie a barrel knot is eerily similar to how you tie a traditional ascot tie. You are going to have your ascot tie around your neck with your collar popped. And like I said, this works better with a upturned collar and not you know, the collar that you would traditionally wear in today's day and age. So we start out like we are tying a traditional ascot tie you're gonna have the tie around your popped collar, and you're going to have your dominant hand, which is my right hand side, about three inches longer than your non-dominant hand, which is my left. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the right side and you are going to cross it over the left side and you are gonna bring it up and you are going to bring it to where the material in your neck connect and bring that all the way up like so and make sure that when you pull it, that it is tight and snug, but not uncomfortable. And you are gonna flatten everything out from there. Make sure when it comes up through the hole between your material, your tie, and your neck, that you flatten everything out. You want this to be tidy. That is the whole idea of these more distinguished looks is to keep everything clean and tight. So once you get it to looking like this right here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the bottom right here, and I'm actually gonna lift up the front part here to show you what I'm doing underneath because I got a little mixed up the first time that I tried this. You are going to take your bottom and you are going to take it to your non-dominant side. If you're left hand, this is perfect because I become your mirror and you're going to make an S like so. So now that we have the S and I did this a little slower because this is the toughest part of the knot they were doing today, we are gonna take our top end down and make sure when you have it in this position, you have your hand right here on the bottom and the hole right here from your S. You're gonna bring that top piece down through like so, and you are going to start pulling. This is creating your barrel look. And make sure you pull it and you keep it nice, flat and tidy when you bring it up to make it snug around your neck. And obviously I can't see, but this is the basis of what you want it to look like. I will go check it in the mirror and tidy everything up before you add your tie tack. So if you'll give me a quick little jump cut, I will tidy this up and show you what it looks like before we add the tie tack and we button up our vest for our ending look. Okay, so I looked in the mirror and this is exactly what you want it to look like before 
you button up your vest and add your tie tack to keep that knot nice and secure. So before you do anything, you wanna make sure that both your ends are roughly the same length because it's only gonna to fall to about halfway down your torso. And the other thing is that was very important when I learned how to tie this is when you tie it originally, it's gonna be more up like this and you almost you want that knot to be hidden and you want that nice pretty material to cover everything up before you add your tie tack so you have that nice distinguished look that you are so desperately trying to seek. So this is what you're gonna look like before you add your final decorations, your tie tack, tidy up your vest, and maybe your blazer. So I'm gonna go in and fasten everything up and I'm gonna show you the final result. As you can see, I am back from the mirror. All I did was put my tie tack in to secure this beautiful knot that we just tied. I brought the collar down on my shirt to cover up all the material that is around my neck and I buttoned up my vest, giving us a very fancy style straight from the Victorian era and I appreciate you all coming along for today's video. This is definitely one of my more favorite knots to tie. There's a little more to this one than the traditional way to tie an ascot tie, but I think the final product speaks for itself in how distinguished you look. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed today's video on the barrel knot or leave me a comment stating what you liked or tell me what I should do next. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed as of late. But for those of you who have come across this video and you might have learned how to tie the barrel knot on your ascot tie, or maybe you've come across another video and you somehow landed on this one, think about hitting that subscribe button because you're a daisy if you do.